Hey guys, welcome back to my garage. Hey, this is just a quickie update on the Klausing Condia mill here. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done anything with it, and truth be told, I was working with DMM Technologies on Oak and the DYN for AC servo drives. And I think we've got all that worked out. They're going to be coming back here pretty quickly. But uh, there was another user that had one of these machines that had converted it to DMM Technologies AC servos and the drives. He told me there was an issue with fitting the 1.2 kW AC servo to the x-axis and that he had modify the table and uh, he sent me a picture of that. And as you can see it really cuts into the table and then moreover he says the front cover that covers up the servo motor uh, wasn't usable anymore. Um, so let me bring you down to the opening in the uh, the table so you can get a look to see what the issue is rough idea I don't have the motor up to be able to hold it up but uh, I'll at least show you what he had to do to make it work okay right here you see the opening and you can just see a plate this machine actually had round uh, DC brush servos and they bolted into this plate right here let's see if I can use my phone and get some light there maybe you can see it but there is a plate in there and it actually slides back and forth so the motor was round and what ended up happening with that big square servo motor it went right here and he had to notch the table right here and that's not something I really wanted to do I didn't want to cut the table and then I didn't want to lose the front cover here so I backpedaled uh, again this thing originally had round DC brush servos so I'm going back that route uh, I'll show you what I've done Okay, up here, I had a set of Centroid DC brush servos. Um, I purchased them from a gentleman who did an upgrade and he replaced all the motors on the mill. So I had a nice set of Centroid DC brush servos. The problem is they were square flange. So this machine had DC brush servos on it and really what I should have done is I should have just got a Centroid all-in-one DC and fitted it to this thing and reused the, the DC brush servos. Um, unfortunately, I didn't. So I sold the control and the DC brush servos to somebody who had one of these machines that wanted spare parts, so I sold the whole kit and caboodle to them. And it actually paid for this machine because I was going to go with the DMM AC servos. When I found out what I had to do to the table and that the cover may not fit, I decided I don't want to go that route. So I had these uh, Centroid servos, and here you see these here. Um, they were they were all square flange. I need round flange for the X and Y. Actually, it was round flange up here. But what I was able to do is I was able to drill and slot the top of this casting, which is machined. So I have adjustment here for the Z axis servo belt. Um, but what I did on these, I took the plate. This is the plate I showed you just a minute ago. It's inside. This is what fit on the original round body DC brush servos, and it fit it fit just like that. Okay. So, what I ended up doing is I used this as a template. I'm going to show you a series of pictures here in just a minute, let you see what I did. But I used this as a template, and I machined a, a bushing, because the OD of this counter bore was a little bit larger than the, than the servos. So what I did is I measured this, and I measured the spigot on the servo, and then I made this little bushing right here. So now, this fits really nicely on it. And then I use this as a template, and I, I uh, used a center punch, and I punched the holes. Well, let me back up. These slots actually match the NEMA 42 square flange, so I bolted it to the flange so it didn't move. Then I center punched these uh, spots where I had to drill into the servo to drill and tap for 5 16 bolts. And then I made bushings. I made a bushing that fit this counter bore right here in the uh, plate, these counter bores, I, I made a bushing, basically a drill bushing, made it out of aluminum because I was only going to do eight holes. And that fit the bit. So I used the bit and I went down just over a half an inch. Um, this this uh, cover plate on the servo is a little bit deeper than a half an inch. What you see out here, actually there's some goes in there and it retains the bearing. So anyway, so I drilled that with a bushing and then I made another bushing that I used to tap the holes with. So that kept everything nice and straight. So then I needed to get rid of the square flange. So what I did is I measured 
the OD here, and then I rough cut the, the, the corners off that, that square flange. And then what I did is I chucked up the motor in my lathe. I gripped it back here in a four jaw chuck. I put a live center on the, in the hole here on the end of the shaft. And then I turned it carefully and then I, uh, I uh, turned it so it's nice and round just so it looks good. Um, like I said, I rough cut the ears off and I used my uh, grinder with a flap wheel and I ground it a little bit more so I didn't have so many interrupted cuts. So that's what I did here. So now I have my motors, and they're nice motors. These, these are nice, uh, they're, they're very clean, they don't look abused. I've tested them, they work great. I've tested the, the, uh, the motors themselves to make sure that there is no continuity from chassis to any of the power pins here. Um, they already, they're already centroid, so they already have the encoders in them, so I don't have to mess with that. Um, so it makes it a little bit easier. So those motors are ready for the machine. Unfortunately, I've got so many other projects going on. I've got some paying work. I have uh, several machines here that are being retrofitted right now. This is uh, kind of sitting on the back burner, and last night I had an epiphany about this machine, and I said, well, gosh, I already have motors. I might as well just make them work on the machine. So that's what I did. I, I got out here in the shop yesterday evening, and I machined these uh, DC brush servos so they'll fit, and uh, so they should work really well. So anyway, I just want to give you guys an update on the Klaus and Candia, where it's at. I'm using all-in-one DC. I'm going to use the Centroid DC brush servos that I already have. Put it together, tune it up, and move it on down the line, hopefully, to a, uh, a new owner that can use it. They're great garage shop machines. Okay, until next time, we'll talk to you soon.